Sony's 48 megapixel IMX586 was one of the most popular sensors of 2019. We've seen it used on a lot of phones across a variety of price points, right from the budget Redmi Note 7 Pro all the way up to the premium OnePlus 7T Pro. Now, Sony's follow up to this insanely popular 586 is the new 64 megapixel IMX686. The first phone to sport this sensor is the Redmi K30 that we have right here at C4 Retech. So in today's video, let's see how the 64 megapixel sensor from Sony compares to its super popular predecessor. And hey, there's a blind test at the end too. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech. And if you do end up liking what you see in this video, go ahead, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. And by the way, I'm also giving away a Redmi K30. For more information on the giveaway, check out the link in the description below. With that said, let's get this video started. The final image a camera produces is a result of a combination of things. To keep things simple, let's say it's the hardware and software, the sensor and lens, plus the image processing. So to keep this test as fair as possible, I decided to compare the IMX686 on the Redmi K30 with the IMX586 on the Redmi K20 Pro. Now, I could have gone Redmi K20, but technically it's a IMX582. The difference between the 582 and the 586 is just that the 582 cannot do 4K 60 FPS, but then, hey, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna say, it's the 582, so I wanted to go 586. So I chose the K20 Pro. We've already seen the K20 Pro versus K20. There's no difference between those two with regards to still images. So anyway, like I said earlier, there were a lot of phones to choose from, a lot of phones that sported, uh, that sport the uh, IMX 586, but the K20 Pro is one that also happens to run on MIUI, and the processing here should be pretty similar, despite the lens being a tad different. F1.8 compared to the K30's F1.89. Anyway, with all that said, let's now get to the samples. So here's the first set of images. These were shot outdoors under good light. Note that here on auto mode, the 586 is shooting 12 megapixels, while the 686 is shooting 16 megapixels. Four pixels are being combined into one here. There's not much between these two. The colors are almost similar. The K30 seems to be producing a little warmer tones, uh, but there is no major difference. Now, in this case, the K30 and the 686, they seem to have the better image. Not by much, but the flower here looks a little brighter and more attractive. What do you think? The details, they don't really change. But now see this picture. The warmth is again noticeable in the image shot by the K30. 100% crop and zooming in on the K20 Pro's image to match. There's not much difference in detail. The 586 had excellent dynamic range, but that's bettered here. In this picture, the cloud to the sky, that's the brightest point, right? There's equal detail with regards to the brightest point. Now the shadows to the right, there's a tad bit more detail with the 686. Sony seems to have improved the dynamic range a little bit on the sensor. Now guys, in the past, we've seen the characteristics of the image change when we go into the high resolution shooting mode. So does that happen here? Well, let's see. So switching to the 48 megapixel mode on the K20 Pro and the 64 megapixel mode on the K30, again, the K30 produces the brighter image. I feel the K20 Pro might have better contrast here. Now that said, when we punch in, the 64 megapixel IMX686 just has way more detail than the 48 megapixel IMX586. Just look at the text or the texture of the tiles behind. This shot here basically shows us that the dynamic range does not change too much in the high resolution mode. And punching in, we can see the text on the street sign more clearly on the image shot by the K30. Similarly, the leaves to the back, they are crisper too. So far, the IMX686 has proven to be a solid successor to the 586. But let's see how it fares under low light next. Remember, all these shots were taken with MIUI's night mode on. Now, both these perform quite similarly, but when you pixel peep, you can see that the K30 has a slight edge. There's better texture for the road of the image shot with the K30, while it's a little more smudged out on the image shot by the K20 Pro. Again, look at this gate here. When we punch in at first glance, it might seem like the K20 Pro has the brighter image, but hey, the K30's image is cleaner. 
Now guys, it is worth noting that the K30 has a disadvantage here. It has a bit of a handicap. The lens it uses comes with a f1.89 aperture, whereas the K20 Pro is sporting a f1.8 lens, meaning it's got a tiny bit of an edge. An unfair advantage, if I might say so. So the IMX686 sensor itself should fare even better if it's on even footing with the 5.86, uh, if it's paired with a similar lens. Now here are a few more low light samples for you to take a look at. Anyway, before we jump to the conclusion, here's a quick blind test. I've covered up the watermark, so go on, guess which was shot with a K20 Pro, which was shot with a K30. Here's a zoomed in view to help you, you know, make a choice. Let me reveal the watermark here. Okay, one more, zoomed in, the watermark reveal, final set, look closely, observe, look at the details, let me zoom in to help you out, can you spot the differences? Okay, it's time for the watermark reveal. So how many of you did get it right? Did any of you get all three right? Let me know in the comments below. And now, with that, we get to the conclusion. In the IMX686, Sony seems to have an excellent follow-up to the extremely popular IMX586. Generally, Xiaomi software improves over time, and if the 686 on the K30 is faring so well already, I can only imagine how much better it would get with time. I'm quite happy with this sensor. So, what do you actually think? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, we get to the end of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.